You hear that sound? It is not a river. It is our apartment. And this is the wall right behind our TV. We just woke up to a huge leak in our apartment this morning. And the floor is all wet in the bedroom now, but we're waiting for management because it's so early and our landlord is in California. And our moose is in New York. This is the current state of things. Also, this water is disgusting. We already dumped a whole bucket into the toilet like 10 minutes ago, and it's already halfway filled up. And then we were also worried about the TV because... I don't even know. But Moose is having fun, so... <laughs> I'm not having fun. <laughs> Why are you really exposing us? <laughs> what do you what mean? happened here with the coffee thing? Why are we using an instant coffee? It's because James dropped the... Wait, did I drop it? It's a long explanation. Maybe I'll just put the explanation here. Okay, freeze frame. Hello. I wanted to pop in and give kind of some context on what happened with our apartment. So grab a drink because it is story time now. This was a few days before Christmas and we had been awoken at like 6.30 or 7 a.m. because there was a giant rain bubble that had burst. And mind you, we are not the top floor of the apartment. So there's apartments above us. I think it was rainwater that kind of just accumulated at the top of our ceiling. And then there was this giant bubble that we were not aware of that basically burst in the morning because of all the water pressure. It literally sounded like a waterfall in our bedroom that morning and it was still dark. So it was really stressful trying to figure out what was happening. So our bedroom was starting to flood because of that. And then thankfully or not so thankfully, I had my rug, like one of my favorite rugs under the waterfall so the rug soaked up so much of the water and i really need to clean that i don't know how to clean a rug but we'll figure it out then we just spent the morning cleaning up the floor it was just us with a ton of towels like wiping down the floors and then squeezing out the towels and then doing that over and over again and as you can see the water was so gross it was like a brown mucky color so that was the bedroom and that was the most traumatizing part there was a giant bubble forming above the tv and like right behind the tv and we did try to like puncture it i don't think we were very successful but the water somehow ended up just like trickling to the the like floorboard and then i didn't realize there was another water bubble in our loft but yeah that was what had happened it was also a work day by the time that i had the mental capacity to pick up a camera which is what you guys saw we had cleaned up most of the mess this was probably an hour or two after everything had um begun so you can see there was still water trickling after an hour and a half and we were just moving that bucket around <laughs> honestly i am so thankful that it wasn't worse because i know that flooding can get really bad in new york city and if you live in new york and experience flooding while the storm was happening i hope you guys are okay but yeah we're okay at the end of the day and i'm so thankful that we didn't get displaced as well i did want to say thank you to those of you who did message me and ask how we were doing it really means a lot to me that you guys checked in and yeah so that is the story time there it probably isn't as dramatic as you expected but i yeah that was the first time that this happened to me anyways back to our regularly scheduled program <laughs> Okay, 
it's morning. For some reason it got really dark all of a sudden. Our place flooded last week and I don't even know if you can still see it, but there's just like a hole up there or like a slash up there at the very top. Because of that and everything else and things have just been piling around and because of the flood water, we moved a lot of stuff over and just like piled stuff everywhere. It's just our apartment is so messy. And as I've shown you guys before, like our lived in apartment is very, very different than when it's very, very clean and pretty and aesthetic. But I thought today it'd be important to just like do some spring cleaning. I also wanna enter 2024 with just like a new space and cleanliness and start more fresh so as you can see my clothing pile chair has been piling up so we are gonna spring clean today or winter clean or whatever you call it 2024 clean let's start cleaning So entering the new year always reminds me to think about what would improve my life in the next year. And I've definitely spent the last few weeks thinking about my priorities and what I wanna change in 2024. And one of that is keeping tidy. I know in my videos, I always show my peaceful and calm life, but when things are messy, it is really messy, both in my space and in my mind. I've heard a saying before that your physical space is a representation of your mental space and I want to make sure that for 2024 I have a clean slate for my mind and my mental health. It's so rounded. It's like curves. <laughs> I always say that I can tell if someone works a desk job because this part of your shoulder blade just becomes so rounded. Like this part? You could say you're well-rounded. Part of getting older is looking forward to taking supplements. We're doing vitamin D, vitamin C, because I don't get sunlight. Wait, is vitamin D sunlight? And then Nutrafol for hair loss and hair growth. Because <laughs> I'm balding. This is my morning vitamin spread, you guys. Take these two. Oh yeah. That's a tough pill to swallow. Did you get the joke? What? That's a tough pill to swallow. That's funny. Is it? <laughs> Do you get the joke? Yeah. Okay. Like, because it's a pill. Like, that's the same. And it's the same. Yeah. yeah. Happy holidays, you guys. Heading to my friend Casey's place for a very, very small gathering for the new year. I always get um, decision anxiety when it comes to deciding what to wear for New Year's because what is the dress code for New Year's? Are you supposed to be comfy? Comfy for New Year's? <laughs> or are you supposed to be a bad bitch? You're or supposed a comfy to be a bad, bad bitch, bitch for the New Year. Did you dress to, to theme? No. I dressed kind of basic. Oh, this is such a nice apartment. Wow. Wow. Gold. It's our next apartment. Heading back a little early so that we can be with Juice during the fireworks. It is 11:42, and yeah, we just want to make sure that he doesn't get too terrified of like the noise because I know with animals they can get alarmed with fireworks. And then we're gonna come back to celebrate some more. We're home. You ready for 2024? Oh, okay. 2024 with three minutes to spare. Three, two, one. Happy Today's January 1st, 2024. Honestly, it doesn't feel any different from 2023, but I'm pretty motivated to make this year a little bit more meaningful for myself because I feel like last year was kind of just more focused on stability, which I really did appreciate, but I also feel like there's a lot of potential for growth this year and both like mentally, personally, and then like career-wise because last year I was focused a lot on building relationships and family and 
I feel like I got a lot of headway with that, but this year, yeah, it's more about growth. Anyways, I'm going to this Japanese mart that we went to yesterday to get some drinks for Casey's little New Year's party, but there were so many things there that I didn't get a chance to see, so I wanted to go back today just to check out what they had. As you guys can see, there were so many cute snacks at the Japanese Mart, but I really had to restrain myself from getting everything I saw because first of all, I don't need it, even though I really wanted it. So I decided to give myself a budget of $25 and definitely made my way through all the aisles before deciding what I wanted. Everything looks so cute and delicious, like look at that. But yeah, I was here for a good 30 minutes before I finally picked out what I wanted. stuff in there that I wanted but I decided just to get three things because it was a little bit pricey for good reason but also I feel like there's just so much stuff that I want to try but it's not very really healthy for me so I got tonkatsu ramen which is like instant ramen version which I've never had and it looks like this so it's not like regular ramen and it might be kind of loud right now and we got this milk wine which looks so cute and i actually kind of just wanted the bottle but milk wine sounds very intriguing so i also got some milk tea milk boba tea So before the day ended, I also dropped by one of my favorite vintage stores in Brooklyn called Calimera. I've been wanting to refresh my wardrobe a bit lately, so this was a nice little pit stop on my way home. They always have a rack of super cute clothes outside, so I checked that out first. I didn't find anything in particular, but their selection is always so well curated. I hit the inside of the store next, which is always color-coded and very lovely. I'm not the biggest bag girly, but their selection of bags and shoes is also equally as amazing. I did end up finding two things that I wanted to try on, which was this pinstripe shirt, which was not giving as much as I wanted it to, and then this longer cardigan piece, which was more expensive, so I ended up not getting that. But yeah, thank you guys for spending another year with me. It means so much to have this community with you guys, and I'm so, so excited for what we all have in store for this year. I know it's gonna be a special one. I definitely feel it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.